Brox and Max. Like and subscribe. Just having me going by a place that I know the people and uh, I see they got something new to their fleet. So let's check it out and see what it is. You don't see these very often, so of course, when I saw it, I immediately had to do a U-turn and check it out. Obviously, it's a Mac F model. What year is it? Well, can't quite tell, but I see it's a plastic dash. So, late 70s, early 80s, probably. See, it's got a Pennsylvania sticker in the window. And it really isn't all that bad. You can't quite tell, but the paint color this is actually, the white is brushed on with a brush. And it doesn't look terrible. Even the hubs. Probably gonna have to check this out though. Maybe put a new hub on just to make sure that everybody knows where the oil lever is. But it's kind of unique. Not only F model, but a box fan to boot. And I would be willing to bet, as of recent, maybe within the last five or ten years, this was actually on the road. Because it has really meaty tubeless tires on it. It doesn't look like it's been sitting around in the dingweeds. So somebody was trying to keep it going down the road paintbrush or not even the windshields are nice those are getting hard to find got a nice chrome grill the only sad part that I see is the K wanted to jump ship on it I don't know why Assuming it's got a Mac engine, let's check that out. Or not. Well, maybe you guys can. I can't see because of the box. Well, maybe I can. It's got a power steering reservoir. And I believe it is a Mac engine. It's got the typical Mac 5 speed. Oh, this is something new. Wow. This is awesome. I wonder if somebody's patented that. So it's got the bump out in the back for extra sleeper room. It's got a side door. So I would say the van body's been updated. even got a lift gate got some vintage Mac flaps this thing is cool got a Mac rear in it I'm assuming being an F model it's probably something like a 400 maybe a 371 ratio don't see anything that is telling me any different that it was a different wheelbase back in the day there's no holes so this must have been a factory setup this way
course we have the instructions to tilt the cab. Oh, we even have a power passenger window. That's awesome. The interior panels are nice. Everything is intact, really. It's got some rust here and there, a little bit of bubbly action, but not terrible. And the dash isn't all banged up and cracked up. Needs a headliner. Oh man, that thing shut perfect. But I just discovered we have a line and then we have a random sticker. I wonder what is behind the random sticker. Yep, we got a bullet hole in the sticker. But that's all right. Got a nice seat. Pretty cool. We have something that I have never seen before. We have duct tape floor mat. That must be to get you out of the truck faster, in and out faster. Let's see if this grab handle can handle my weight. Let's see how many miles are on this. 546,000. I'd imagine this is original equipment, original gauges, original everything. It even smells nice in here. Got a mattress. CB. This thing is ready to go. Put this on the road tomorrow. Let's see, F. 785T. It even has the rust prevention knobs. I don't know if it quite helped it though. Maybe. Because you don't see F models very often anymore. Even that driver door closes nice. This is a unique piece. I'll have to get together with the guy that owns it and find out a little more information about it. Glad I stopped to film it. Hope everybody else enjoys it. Check out my other videos. As always, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.